All right, hi Math 8 students. Today we are going to be talking about rational numbers um, and absolute values and ordering those rational numbers. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to graph rational numbers on a number line. You should be able to find the absolute value of a rational number and then use the number line to compare rational numbers. So just a reminder, here's our definition. When we say absolute value, we are talking about the distance between the number and zero on the number line. And when we write absolute value, let's say we have the absolute value of x, you're gonna see these two longer lines around it. So this is how we write it uh, with math symbols. That right here is just saying the absolute value of x. So if we were to see that with some numbers, let's say we just had, let's say we wanted to do the absolute value of negative four, that's how we would read that, absolute value of negative four. Or we could just have the absolute value of eight. And so these are really asking, how far is that number from zero on the number line? What is the distance? How far is eight from zero on the number line? So let's go down to our examples and actually take a look at that. Find the ex absolute value of negative three. So I can write that out. Absolute, maybe, let's see if the pen will work here. Absolute value of negative three. Okay, well, where is our negative three on the number line? It's right here. And how far is that from zero? It's three spaces, it's a distance of three. And so absolute value, of negative three is three. That's a fancy pen there. All right, we can also do this with fractions. If I want to find the absolute value of one and one fourth, we find that on our number line. So these are, if I were to divide these by fourths, this would be one fourth. There's our two fourths, three fourths, one, and then one and one fourth. So this would be where our one and one fourth is. And how far, how many spaces is that? It's one and one fourth. All right, so you may be noticing whether it's positive or negative inside the absolute value. It looks like our answer is always gonna come out positive. And that is true because we're talking about a distance. Okay, on to the back of our notes. If you guys wanna pause and try some of those on your own, you can. Um, if you're still not quite sure, you can follow along. All right, so absolute value of seven. Think about a number line. How far is that from zero? Seven. Absolute value of negative five thirds. How far is that from zero? Five thirds. And also with decimals, absolute value of negative 2.6. How far from zero? It would be exactly 2.6. All right, so now we're gonna get into comparing when we want to Compare, this is asking to use our greater than, less than, or an equal sign in between, All right? So let's think about where is the absolute value of negative 2.5? We said, well, that number is really just 2.5.
So I can put that on my number line. 2.5 would be right here. All right, and then three halves, or you can think of that as one and one half. So one and one half would be right here. Okay, and we can see that our absolute value of negative 2.5 is gonna be greater. So if I were to rewrite this, I can say the absolute value of negative 2.5 is greater than 3 halves. So even though there was that negative in there, the absolute value of negative 2.5 is 2.5. And so it ends up greater than 3 halves. All right, moving down to a couple more examples. Again, if you want to try a couple of these on your own, pause the video and then check them. You can do it that way. And I'll go through them. All right, so when we are filling in our answers with the less than sign, greater than or equal to, it's actually, I kind of like to think about writing this out and just then you compare them. So what is absolute value of nine? Absolute value of nine is just nine. Having trouble with my pen here. It is nine. What's our absolute value of negative nine? How far is that from zero? That's also nine. So we can put our equal sign there. This one, number five, they did throw another a little tricky one in here. Notice how the negative sign is on the outside. It's not within those absolute value symbols. So we actually have to think of that as separate. So that's gonna stay negative. So this is really like saying the negative of the absolute value of one half. Well, the absolute value of one half we know is one half, but we want the negative of that. And so the negative sign actually stays on this one. And then this is also a negative one fourth. All right, so which one is smaller? Which one would be more to the left on our number line? And we could say the negative one half would be smaller, more negative. So we can put our less than symbol in there. All right, and then same thing here, seven. So that's just the number seven we're comparing. And here's another tricky one, a negative sign. So this negative sign is gonna stay so it's really like thinking the opposite of the absolute value of negative 4.5. And so I want to, that's going to stay. And then what is my absolute value of negative 4.5? How far is that from zero? Well, it's 4.5. But it is negative because that negative came down here. And that kind of makes our answer overall a negative 4.5. And... So obviously we have a positive number here and that's gonna be greater. Seven is greater than that. All right, so just be careful when you have the negative is on the outside of the symbols. It's kind of, I think it's easier to read it as opposite. Okay, and then our last example, we're gonna end with a word problem here. Let's see if we can fit this all. All right, so it says a moon has an ocean underneath its icy surface. Scientists run tests above and below the surface. The table shows the elevations of each test. Which test is the deepest and which test is the closest to the surface? And so in this um, example, it makes sense to make our number line um, vertical. And you can think of our zero 
right here as being our the moon's surface. All right, and then we can plot these numbers on our number line. So for temperature, we're down at negative 3.8. Let's try that. Negative 3.8. So that there is our temp. Salinity is negative 5.15, so just a little bit past. Atmosphere, 0 0.3, so that's up above zero just by a bit. Organics is down at negative four and a half. So that would be negative four and then another half down. And then ice is negative 0.25. So just a little below zero there, a quarter below. All right, and then remember, we have two things we gotta answer. Which test is the deepest? So which one goes the farthest below the moon's surface? And that would be down here, the negative 5.15. Salinity. All right, and then we also have this to answer. Which one is closest to the surface? Um, and we have two here that are pretty close to zero. And we got to think about ice was negative 2.5. Um, and the atmosphere is 0.3. So even though it's a negative, that ice is still a little bit closer. And that's where you get into your absolute value there. So the ice was the closest to the surface. All right, and then we answered those two questions, so we're all set. All right, that should help you get started on your assignment for this section. We will see you next time.